So uh, welcome to the, the Kiwi University Crime House. So uh, we're just in the outside area of the Crime House at the moment, so we can do uh, lots of different studies here. So we, we do studies looking at recovery uh, and lots of different things. We also obviously have all the inside of the house as well, which we're going to now show you um, so you can come and have a walk this way. Okay, so this is this is the first room that we uh, that we'll start with. So this is our preparation space. Uh, this gives us some uh, chance to tell you a little bit about scenes that you're going to see, um, and also get a bit of them um, sort of suited and booted and ready to ready to go. Uh, on this side over here, you see all of the different CSI kits we've got. So uh, you'll be given one of these, and you can get to go through the house uh, and process it in a way. We also have lots of different equipment and everything up here. Everything you might need to be able to to process the house. So okay, if we if we head if we head this way, we'll go through here. So we'll start talking through some rooms. So what we've got here is, is a fully complete house. Um, it has everything that we would, you would normally find in a house. Uh, gives you lots of opportunities, lots of experience to gain um, from collecting different types of evidence from different surfaces. Okay, so this is this is the kitchen. As you can see, we've we've sort of set this up a little bit uh, as a crime scene. So you can see a few little things around here. So we've got some blood over on the over on the cooker, um, and there's, there's some of the sort of stains and some of the marks that we could collect. There's also some blood behind the tap, etc., and some some bits on the floor. So if we move this way, we can head towards the living room. So this is this is the living room. So this is where, um, again, we, we think you know, a big chunk of the crime was committed in this case. So what we've got here, again, is, is a typical sort of setup for a living room. Uh, lots of different fabrics, different sort of carpet types, you know, plastics, woods, etc. Everything that you would need to, to be able to gain experience in collecting evidence from. On the table, we see here some, some quite um, important bits of evidence um, that may or may not be important for the case. Um, that we're talking about, so there's clearly some alcohol use, um, some potential drug use, although we'd need to do sort of additional analysis on that to find out exactly what it is. Um, there's obviously, as you can see, a knife here as well on the floor. So there's lots of different types of evidence that we could collect from this, this space here. Okay, um, so we'll keep moving through and, and we'll go uh, upstairs and we'll look at some of, the, some of the things we have there. So we go back past, back past the door. Um, one thing to note as well is the beauty of having a house um, is that we can sequence between rooms. We can look at how, you know, very rarely, rarely do crimes take place in one room. So we can look at how someone's transitioned from one space to another and it tells us something about the crime. Um, so here you can see some blood staining on the, on the banisters here. Um, it's useful to note that actually it gets um, more and more faded as you go up the banister, which implies that the, the person came, whoever get, dropped this, came up the stairs rather than down. So in the, in the, front, room, in the front room here, we've got um, a bedroom set up. Uh, we can configure the room slightly differently, so we can have different spaces depending on what sort of crimes um, we're trying to simulate. Here you can see a pretty typical bedroom. Again, there's lots of bits of evidence we can look at here. So there's some signs of alcohol use in the corner. Um, it's a little bit untidy, but not too bad. Um, a new big bit of forensics at the moment is, is digital forensics, and you can see that we've got the digital, uh, got the computer over there, so there may be digital evidence we can recover from that. Um, okay, if we head this way, um, and we move into the, to the bathroom. So uh, this is this is a, a bathroom scene. Clearly, you can see the, the first thing you see here um, is, is, a, is a large amount of blood um, set up here. So clearly, we know that this is an important scene uh, to see. So there's lots of different things we can do here. So we can look at the spatter pattern. We've got the dripping, and again, it will tell us something about the sequence, something about the crime that's actually been committed. Okay, so uh, so that's pretty much everything uh, we wanted to show you in the house. So I hope you've enjoyed um, watching it. Um, if you want any more information, please do visit the Kew University website and particularly the forensics pages on there, and we'll certainly see a lot more. So thanks very much.